10 o'clock feeding for the guap i'll be hey guys it's Hannah. what's up today i'm gonna be doing a very exciting video you guys have requested this on my instagram i sometimes post little like ask me a question asking for some video requests but i'm gonna be doing my jewelry collection today i have obviously picked the pieces that i wear the most and also specific pieces from places that i want to mention that are really great to find jewelry from so you guys can get the tea on where i've gotten all my jewelry this is basically my go-to jewelry like i just didn't include shit that i never wear i'm gonna start off with the jewelry that i'm wearing right now which is my everyday jewelry if i'm not wearing this i really don't know who i am in the world so rings are definitely my favorite piece of jewelry anything to do with my hands like if i'm gonna get tattoos the first place i'm getting them is on my fingers you know what i'm saying okay so this ring is definitely my favorite ring the m stands for Munka, which is my nickname also my instagram handle but I found this at a vintage store where my grandparents live. I think this cost me $9 and it's a sterling silver ring. Make sure you guys are checking out those little vintage antique stores because that's where you get gems like this. Moving on to my other hand. This first ring here I got from my aunt as a gift. She got this ring from a church bazaar and gifted it to me. Have been wearing this ring for so many years. Before I got all my other rings, I would just wear this on its own and I absolutely love it. This middle ring here is a fake Cartier ring. This is from Kensington Market. I don't remember what the name of this store is. It's across from the Blue Banana store. I don't know if they would still have this. I honestly got it about two years ago, but it was $12. It's stainless steel. This ring here I got from Value Village. Value Village is one of my favorite places to get jewelry. I only buy jewelry if it's sterling silver. This is literally warped to my finger shape, but I just thought it looked like the Missouri dome ring. This costs me, I want to say $19. Valley Village is a great place to get sterling silver. This ring is from Kensington Market. It's from one of those stands that are just outside. It's acetate and then there's these little rhinestones glued on. I just love the clear. It's not as like trendy as the ones that are everywhere right now and also because it's clear it legitimately goes with everything so i love this ring it costs 15 dollars, and it's dope moving on to my bracelets this bracelet is easily my favorite i got this from the same store that i got my m ring so my grandparents like random antique store and this costs 30 dollars. this bracelet is from value village this cost me 10 dollars. it's sterling silver i absolutely love this chain i just love the style the links and I think it's so dainty. I never take this off. I often take this off to shower. It's labeled as 925 and he told me it was sterling silver but low key it's starting to kind of change which is really weird. I don't understand. Or maybe it's just tarnished. Oh my gosh. Okay I'm gonna check that out. But this one is literally never left my wrist. I'm obsessed and it's so cute. For my everyday necklaces this chain I purchased from the St. Lawrence flea market the guy was like it's 60 bucks sterling silver so i bought it right away and honestly this is my best purchase of 2020 and then this necklace which honest to god is another one of my favorite pieces ever all of these are i can't even choose um this horseshoe necklace is from value village which is so insane to me this is actually the back side this is the right side but i just prefer to wear it this way better but i love this combination so so much and I honestly switch out my necklaces probably the most often. This necklace from Value Village is also one of my go-tos. It says Sweet 16. I absolutely love it. I just think it's so fucking cute. And I just can't believe someone would have given this away if they got this for their 16th birthday. Like, I'm wearing it for them, okay? I think it's so cute. And again, it's a similar chain to my bracelet. This was less than $20. Pretty standard Value Village's jewelry is like less than 20 bucks. I used to wear this every single day in high school. I got this off of Etsy years ago. Like I'm saying five years ago. <laughs> and it's a sterling silver pendant. I just put onto my own chain. The pendant was like less than 10 bucks. I'm sure you can easily find this on Etsy if you were to look now. So I just searched silver Playboy pendant and it's very cute. I honestly need to start wearing this more. I obviously have a nameplate necklace. I feel like this is a part of everybody's jewelry collection i got this for i want to say 16th or 17th birthday i wanted one so bad this is off my name necklace.com i think they're like 70 bucks it's sterling silver and again this is a necklace i don't really wear but honestly bitch 
it is cute i need to just layer this up and then i could definitely start wearing it again i think i'm showing it to you backwards <laughs> yeah this is the right way it's just very classic and definitely a good layering piece i love this necklace for layering as well i feel like if i'm wearing a super basic outfit i'll do something like this just to level it up i got this from a random thrift store called like national thrift this with matching earrings which i'll show you for three dollars i cannot get over it it's obviously not silver not diamonds it's like costume jewelry but for shit like this that you don't wear all the time this is the only kind of jewelry that i'll wear if it's not actual silver because i just hate having to worry about my jewelry tarnishing but obviously this was three dollars so it's not that serious this is the matching earring it's so cute obviously there is two of them <laughs> I've yet to actually wear these with the necklace, but they're such cute earrings. Okay, the last necklace I wanna include is so funny to me because my ex-boyfriend gave this to me. I chose it and then he got it for me, so I still wear it, like I feel no ways, but <laughs> it's this little cherub, it has white gold wings and it's solid gold, bitch. It's so cute, I love the chain. The only thing is, is these twisty chains tangle with other jewelry. That's kind of why I've not been wearing it because I like layering my necklaces a lot more recently. I bought this like three years ago, I wanna say, so it's been a minute. Okay, I wanna show you guys the two rings that I also really, really love, but just don't fit any of my fingers that don't already have rings on them, so I kind of have to like, plan out when i'm gonna wear these because that means these have to come off you know this ring is so cute you would think it's costume jewelry because it has a pink fucking gem in the middle of it but it's sterling silver it's from value village you guessed it and this was less than 20 dollars. it is so cute like this is definitely an amazing find next is this chanel ring if you're from toronto i feel like you know this ring, bitch. Like, Black Market sells this for $10. I've bought, like, three of these because it's not sterling silver. This is my only ring that's not sterling silver. And I just feel dirty when I wear non-sterling silver because I can't wash my hands with ease. Like, I have to take it off every single time. It pisses me off, but it's so cute. I forgot to show you my everyday earrings. I just wear silver keepers all the time. These I prefer over studs because when I'm sleeping, it doesn't jab into my ear and they kind of just like lay flat. These I got from Shoppers Drug Mart, sterling silver, literally I think $12. As for other earrings I wear, bamboo hoops. You can get these at any beauty supply store for less than $3. I kind of want to get a smaller pair that's sterling silver. They're just so expensive on Etsy and I don't know if they're like real silver, but these are super heavy, so they low-key drag your ears down, like fully pull them. And I'm afraid if I wear these too much, my ears will start to sag. <laughs> but they're so fucking sick along with the same chanel ring i have these two earrings these are actually from kensington market at a random store i'm so sorry i feel like in kensington no one knows what stores they get shit from i think i got these in a deal like three for five or some shit but i love these and i have worn these so much they're obviously not silver but they have not changed like they're still blessed we get it with the fake chanel bitch but i got these from value village you guys have seen these in a haul I've not worn these yet. I should have worn them today, low-key. To me, jewelry like this and like the other Chanel earrings, like they're kind of obviously fake. You know what I'm saying? I'm not wearing them to flex. I just think it's funny as fuck. So these were probably like a dollar. <laughs> I want to show you guys these earrings I got a bit ago for New Year's. I think two years ago. But these are such sick earrings and I definitely need to wear these more. They're from Urban Outfitters actually. And they're these rainbow gem earrings. They're obviously very dangly, and I wore a rainbow sparkly dress on New Year's. I actually need to fucking wear these because I've not worn them since New Year's. I just feel like they're a little bit harder to style since they're so colorful. I could even be wearing these right now. I need to step it up now that I'm looking at my jewelry. I kind of wanted to mention necklace pendants. So you can pretty much put anything on a fucking necklace and call it a pendant, okay? I took this off my Viva La Juicy perfume, and I wear this whenever I wear a Juicy Couture hoodie. I just fucking slide it on the chain and it's like a double j since the zipper has one also make sure you're checking out bead stores i have a bunch of pendants they're so cheap obviously a chanel one like if you didn't take anything from this whole video amanda likes fake chanel apparently okay unless someone wants to buy her the real shit i have this skull and crossbones one. Oh my god i didn't even realize these are chanel but a little pink chanel key i think these are so cute i also have a blue one and these are like, I want to say less than 50 cents each. And then lastly, one of my favorite places for jewelry is my ankle. And I only have one anklet. And again, Value Village. This originally had a dolphin pendant on the clasp, which was honestly too good to be true. Like, no wonder it fell off. 
but it's the same kind of vibe as one of the necklaces I showed you with the twisty chain. I pretty much only wear this in the summer because if I'm wearing shoes with higher socks, it's just a little bit uncomfortable. But I do want to get some more anklets. If you guys have any recommendations as to where to get any jewelry, specifically anklets, anything cute, let me know. I do want to show you guys some gold jewelry too. These are super cute bamboo hoops in gold. These are also from the beauty supply store, less than $3. These LV pendants are from the same store as the Chanel ones. This used to be my favorite ring ever. I got this from Pandora. It's from their honey collection. It's just gold plated, so honestly, it's kind of worn not the best as I wash my hands and like fucking punch doors open with this gem. Definitely a piece I'll wear more in the summertime, but I love it. Like it's honestly adorable. I kind of forgot I had this. The last piece of gold jewelry I'm going to show you is this pearl necklace. I got this on my 16th birthday from my godfather and it's 16 pearls. So he added one for every year for me and it's so pretty. Those are all of the pieces I wanted to show you guys. I'll definitely be doing an updated version of this video. I get jewelry kind of often. If I'm on the hunt for it, I'll just be constantly looking out and pick up random things like this ring. Most of these rings were just like bought on a whim. I feel like jewelry is one of those things that you don't really just order everything online. If you want to start off and you're very eager to build up your collection, you definitely can't order off of websites like Missouri. But to get pieces that are more personal and like mean something to you, basically most of my jewelry has a meaning, which is obviously super extra and like doesn't need to be, but I just love having pieces that like remind me of certain moments and that I got from specific people and stuff, you know what I mean? So don't like stress about building up your collection so fast, you just kind of have to be like looking out for stuff, especially at antique stores, Value Village, always check the jewelry first because that shit flies. But I hope you enjoyed this video and got some insight. I'm sorry this isn't linkable. I was kind of hesitant to do this video because all my jewelry is basically thrifted or vintage, but I also just like seeing what people wear and why, you know? So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.